Alright everyone, welcome back to another lesson here at GoRails. In this one we're going to be looking at the new it um, default block parameter reference name uh, that now ships with Ruby 3.4. So let's jump right in. So here you can see in the Ruby 3.4 release notes here, uh, they talk about this new it block parameter. So we are pleased to announce the release of Ruby 3.4. Woohoo, Ruby 3.4 adds it block parameter reference. Uh, and some other things you can read about here, but it, they go on to talk about a little bit more right here in this section here. Um, so it is kind of now a, uh, another option uh, for referencing the objects that are passed to blocks um, without giving them a name. So before you uh, maybe have seen or used this underscore one, underscore two, so on for like these uh, numbered block parameter uh, variables here. Um, but they're, they're a little cryptic unless you really know what's going on. Um, it is a little more apparent as to what uh, you're referring to inside your block, hopefully at least. And it, no pun intended, comes in really handy when you're doing like little short one line block things. So let's hop over into IRB and uh, let's ex experiment with this a little bit. All right, so let's jump into IRB here. And inside IRB, uh, I'm going to make an array of names here. Let's just do Colin, Chris, and Kent. Okay, and now let's say I want to capitalize all of these names, right? So kind of your standard approach here. Uh, let's say we want to capitalize them, but, you know, return an array of all these names capitalized. So typically, you know, kind of a standard thing to do here would be call map. And then we can pass map a block. So we'll open our block. We'll take a, um, a named block parameter here. We'll just say name. Okay. And then we can say name dot capitalize. Okay. And then if we hit enter on this, we see that now indeed, uh, we get the array back with all of the names now capitalized. Now, normally how I would probably write this, uh, to be even more succinct would be to use the symbol to prox syntax, uh, which looks like this. I'll recall this line here. And let's just go ahead and clear all this out. And instead of passing, you know, this explicit block here, or as we did in the first line, we can do, we'll open up a paren for our argument here and we'll do ampersand colon capitalize, close our argument uh, parenthesis here. And then if we hit enter on that, we see we get the same result uh, as we did previously. Now, while this is nice, uh, there are situations where this falls down and you can't use this all the time, right? If this method that you're trying to uh, call here on each of the um, block or each of the array elements, if this method needs a argument, for example, this syntax kind of falls down here. Also, if you're trying to do some method chaining, this syntax also starts to fall down. So these are cases where um, the new it block parameter uh, can come in handy to help us out. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to recall uh, this line here. I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, this part that we did uh, in the previous step. And then I'm going to add our last names in here. So Colin Gilbert, Chris Oliver, and then uh, Kent's last name is Crutchfield. Okay, so now let's say we wanted to, again, uh, iterate over this array of names and we wanted to capitalize, you know, uh, the first letter of each. So C and J, in my case, C and O, K and C, so on, if we had more names. Now, this is a case where this kind of falls down, right? Because if we were to call this, and let's just go ahead and do it uh, so we can see, we're only going to still get just the first letter of the first names uh, capitalized, right? So we're missing the last names being capitalized. So we could do this the standard way. If we recall the previous line, um, let's go ahead and de uh, delete this portion here. If we were to um, go ahead and pass a block here, now in this case, I'm actually going to, I'm gonna do a do end uh, block just so we can have enough room to see everything. So I'll do do, and then I'll take a name uh, block parameter here. I'll call it name. Now inside our block here, we want to do name and we want to split these names. Now split, if you don't give it an argument, if your default um, global variable, I believe it's a uh, dollar sign semicolon, that's set to nil, uh, which is the default. Then if you call split without an argument, then it treats it like you're trying to say split on spaces. So we can just say split here. So if we split these, what we're gonna end up with, uh, with is a two element array here. Uh, we'll have this first name split, so we'll have an array 
with the string of Colin and the string of Joubert as two elements in that array. So now what we can do is we can also map those. Then we could use our uh, symbol to proc uh, syntax right there. So now we'll iterate over each of the names, the first and the last name, capitalize them. Those get returned back into that two element array. And then we can join them on spaces to get us back to just single strings, which will then be returned into a new array at the end. So let's go ahead and end off our block and let's go ahead and run this. Okay, as you can see, uh, it has gone through and done exactly that. So both uh, the first and last names are now capitalized. Now let's look at a version uh, where we're going to use uh, the new it block parameter uh, provided in Ruby 3.4. So let's go ahead and I'll recall the last line here. I'm actually going to uh, delete a whole bunch of it though. Uh, and we're going to actually make this into a one liner here. So let's go ahead and we will open up a curly brace for our block here. Now instead of doing, you know, name like we did before and declaring uh, the actual name of the block variable that we want to work with, we can just say it, which will go ahead and reference each element as it's passed to the block. And actually, why don't we go ahead and before we do that, uh, why don't we go ahead and let's print out it real quick. So I'll just do this. And then as you can see here, uh, each uh, iteration, we, uh, we're printing out it, which is referring to the element uh, at the time in the that iteration. So the it will refer to each element. So now with that, let's go ahead and rewrite the code that we wrote here in kind of the uh, standard block style to use it. So we don't need to declare a block variable. Uh, we don't need to set any sort of name there for that. So instead, we can basically do exactly this and just replace uh, name here with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And then now down here, I'll just go ahead and type it and then paste this in. And then we can end off our block. And now if I hit enter on this, you see we get the exact same result as we did before. Now, one thing to note to end out this video is that if you are working with a hash versus an array, uh, you will probably not want to use it in that case because what happens then, and we'll look at here in a second, is that as you're iterating through each key value pair in the hash, uh, it will actually uh, it gets converted to, into an array, a two element array where the first element is the key and the second element is, is the value. So you'll probably in that case want to go ahead and declare you some uh, of your own block um, variable names there so that you can use or easily refer to each um, within your block and use them how you need to. So let's real quick go look at that. So if we take a hash here um, and let's just do, we'll just do some simple ones here. We'll do one. Uh, two, two, and then we'll do three, three. So if we have this hash, and if we were to go ahead and do, uh, let's call each on that, right? And then we'll go ahead and say print it again. If we hit enter on that, uh, we can go ahead and see what's printed out is, uh, as I said a moment ago, uh, each one is now a two element array where the first element is the key and the second element is the value. So um, probably not what you want to work with inside your block. You know, you'd uh, probably instead want to do um, probably what you're traditionally uh, somewhat used to, you know, just pulling off the key and separating the keys and values right here in your block argument and just saying, you know, uh, print key and print value, right? So now we can see that uh, here we're printing the key then the value um, just like the block. And I just, one line this uh, right here. If you haven't done anything like that before, you just know you can do that. You can separate your statements uh, with the semicolon. So yeah, so hash is probably not what you, uh, it is probably not what you want to use uh, in that case, uh, but maybe so. I, mean, I won't make any assumptions there. I'll let you be the judge of that and make that call yourself. Uh, but with arrays, uh, if you're writing some short, um, you know, one line uh, blocks to work with your array elements, it is quite nice. So uh, with that, we're going to end this one here. And until next time, take care and happy new year.